This is what works for me. This is what works for you. I don't know where to begin. Could be the curves on your body, but then could be your hair, maybe your skin. Yeah, <laughs> baby girl, I'm trying to get with you. Come, let me see what we get into. Yeah. See what we get. It don't even gotta be physical, as long as that pretty face visible. Yeah. Hit a club and get this on my system. Very dancey. Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to our August reset. I'm cheesing. I'm gassed. You may ask why. It's because I love this video. I love doing this with you guys. We've been doing this now for the whole of 2022. We're on August. That's crazy. We even did a mid year reset. So we are reset professionals. We are reset experts here on this channel. I'm very rude. If you're new here, my name is Sri. Hi. On the channel, we talk about a lot of things. Mainly travel, life, and beauty, though. So if you're interested in those things, make sure you hit that subscribe. This is not a game. This is not a drill. Playtime is over. Hit that subscribe. Join the family. We are on our way to 2K, which is crazy. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, I have my coffee in hand. Something's definitely wrong with my espresso, but we're going to figure that out in the next house. I can't have water with it around. I've done it all. Oh, this is strong. <laughs> Please hold. I need some more cream. Up. That ain't gonna go down easy. But our coffee is in hand. We have our handy dandy passion journal, our passion planner in hand. And we are ready to reset. So if you're new here, maybe check out some of the previous months so you're caught up. I would hate for you to be left behind. But this is that video where we prepare for next month. We reflect on the month that is closing out. And we just get in our monthly planning. So I'm talking our content planning, our budgeting, um, any sort of journaling that we do. Talk to you guys about maybe the book I'm reading for the month. Just like a full to-do. <laughs> a full all-encompassing video as we prepare for the new month that is august so i'm gonna put some more cream in my coffee and we will hop into we're going straight into july monthly recap and our goals because i'm just super excited to share with you guys the progress on that and and hopefully i put it in the title but we do have some big news in terms of what happens in july that i have been keeping from y'all but now i can share it because it's official and i'm excited Thing. <laughs> so yeah let's get into it and be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video matter of fact just hit it now so you can just get it out the way because sometimes we forget things i would hate for you to miss that out <sighs> so let's talk about july july was good july was good i feel like i was in a much better headspace i really prioritized in july not stressing myself out about things i cannot control i'm working on the things that i can and i feel like i did a really good job at that I feel really good about July heading into August I am just anticipating and hoping for some really big things to come into play but I'm not stressing about it I'm tired of stressing that's not our job for 2022 our job is to release our job is to let go of any sort of anxiety and fears that might be holding us back so i'm in a good space and i'm reminding myself especially with this vision board looking at me every morning i'm reminding myself that just pray about it and let it go so i i worked on it in july i was all maverick city music up <laughs> i played my worship music in the car i tried to maintain the best possible spirits so i'd say july was a really great month for me the biggest news um that happened in july no, it's not the property, y'all. But hopefully, hopefully, the next part. I'm trying to have the next property update be lit. So, hopefully, that's coming soon. 
but we are officially a US business. <laughs> Process it. So if you watched my vision board video, if you've been here since Sean of 2022, we put on a vision board that LLC operating agreement because I was like, I'm serious about this. I don't really play about a lot of things. <laughs> so when I really find something that I love, I try to make it legitimate and make it something that can yield tangible benefits in the future and actually hold weight. So for me and the CPA that I am, I'm like, I want to get an LLC. I want to have that for my business. I want to be able to legitimize myself in the United States because I'm just so, I used to live in the United States. I'm so closely connected to it. My Google AdSense from any sort of my YouTube videos flows to the United States. So I was like, it just felt like, a most, like the most natural progression to set up my US LLC. So we have it. We are officially registered and documented. Life of Free AC LLC. <laughs> I know I'm so excited and I'm so happy that we were able to do this so I'm definitely gonna be sharing my whole process so the next video you see fingers crossed will be the how-to behind how I was able to do this but I'm over the moon I'm gassed and I'm just so excited I got to share this with you guys so that's why I feel like July really had more wins and losses just because we were able to check off yet another thing that we put on this vision board that we look at every day I now have a new camera that I'm filming on and I now have an LLC and I have several brown outfits that I love so I feel like the brand part of my vision board is just booming looking good thriving so now we're gonna work on some personal stuff so y'all know i want to travel to a new country i can probably say july we booked all of our travel we booked all of our travel so we are making ways with that happening this is why i love vision boards because you literally wake up and look at the things you want to accomplish like how does that make not make you want to get things done so so yeah y'all oh i I can't wait and I just want to thank you guys because I wouldn't be able to make this possible without you without your support without your views without your likes without your comments without any of this without y'all this wouldn't have been possible and I'm just so excited and I'm just so grateful to be here and to have this community with you guys and to be able to say like my YouTube channel and what I do is now officially a small business crazy dreams this is what dreams are made of so yeah here's to us here's to uh, great things here's to knocking something else off of our vision board i'm gassed so when it comes to our goals for july i haven't updated my movement tracker since like the 20th y'all see that that's like a week behind but it has been busy but if I flip y'all over real quick for July, we just did like, you know, a little suns and weaves theme, something simple. And we have our goals. So our money goal of $2,000 to save. Y'all, we did that. I felt super poor. <laughs> a good chunk of the month. I really have no money, but I put aside almost like $2,000 worth of savings. So that was really hard for me that was a huge chunk of you know sacrifice that had to go into making that possible but we did it so i am just so proud to be able to to tick this one off join me won't you so two thousand in savings brand our brand goal was to do one out of comfort video y'all we did that and i'll tell you guys real quick so my out of comfort video would have been probably a lot <laughs> I had a lot of auto comfort videos in July. Ah, the clean girl makeup, because I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not. So that was a lot for me to do, and I've been postponing that video for several months. I didn't want to do that video. So I forced myself to sit down and do it in whatever way felt natural to me, which was just talking to you guys as I did my makeup. The last wellness vlog, my first wellness vlog, that was a little uncomfortable because I'm not a fit guru. I'm just taking, I'm learning so much about my body and my own process and doing this journey for myself. Like, it's very much a hands-on learning experience for me. I am not 
I haven't done this before. I haven't tried to lose weight before. I haven't tried to care this much about my body before and the things that I'm taking in and the movement and stuff. This is all very new to me. So to compile that into one video and share that with you guys was troubling. So that was very out of comfort. Maintenance vlog was out of comfort because I usually don't drop a bag. Easily dropped and we'll get into the budgeting because I feel like that was one of the biggest parts of my budget this month that I had to save for in advance. Was spending that much money on just taking care of myself, looking good. You guys know I got my soft locks that I absolutely love. Oh, also the clove water challenge was out of my comfort zone because I don't believe personally in hair growth challenges because I just feel like just take care of your hair. So we had several out of comfort videos for this month. Now when it comes to spirit, my spirit goal was to finish Crazy Faith Reflections. And, and I'm just so happy that y'all I finally finished Crazy Faith Reflections. This was a goal from June. <laughs> Probably from June, May, I was trying to finish these reflections. So 100% love Crazy Faith. Still one of my favorite books I read this year. I just absolutely love it. And the reflections were really good at the end because it really prompted you to think about your own life. Think about what you're being called to. Think about the areas where your faith is lacking and what you could do to kind of increase your faith, add pressure to what you're believing um, God in. Y'all know I'm a Christian, so I'm just happy I was able to finish. Papa, get away from that outlet. Are you suicidal? You always trying to see Jesus. He don't want to see you today. Choose life. Anyway, sorry y'all. And then the last goal of July, which is our love goal. Do y'all not like that? I think I'm going to keep this up for August because I think it was really fun with the sections. I had a really good time and it wasn't as hectic because y'all know in the past, we would just be like, do this, do this, do this. And I just feel like having like four sections that I can like really work towards was really fun. So our love goal for July was just to take my mommy out. And we did that. So we went to Bass and we also went out with my girl Shan and Jazzy, her daughter. And it was just so fun. It was just so funny. And we had a really good time. So my mommy was really happy. Okay. My mommy loved food and she liked good people. Y'all, we did all of our goals. They weren't a lot. So I truly prefer this method because it makes you feel like you're doing a lot more with the 31 days that you have. But for the four goals that we set for July, I was able to take that off. When I fill out my tracker, I can share with you guys how much I moved. But in all things, we give thanks. Recap done. Let's hop real quick into content planning. So if you've watched any of my reset videos before, you know I'm a big notion person when it comes to content planning. It's just been helping me stay organized and produce those two videos a week that you guys like to see. So I'm not going to show it this time because... There is some travel in it that I want to be a surprise to y'all because the travel vlogs are coming back, the travel packing's coming back, and we have a bit of a shopping spree video that I'm excited for because I need to get some things in order. So, yeah, look out for some really, really just fun videos and make sure you're subscribed and keep that Isabel. Can't miss it. If you turn that bell on, then the phone will say, hey girl, there's a new video, and then you're able to log in. And then you're able to probably watch it with me because I'm always on the premiere. Content planning, just know the travel vlogs are coming back and it's gonna be a little hectic. So just bear with me. Exercise a little patience with me. I appreciate you always. So just bear with me as we kind of get our gears together because it's gonna be travel heavy and that means I have to like pre-plan because I am trying to have a vacation. I'm putting my foot down. When I say vacation, I mean I'm not bringing no laptops. I don't want nothing beyond my phone. So that means that I need to do pre-filming and get those stuff together. So before I travel, it's always very hectic. So just be patient with me so that I just wanna make sure we can continue our flow even though truly I'll be up in the air. And hopefully y'all get to see the travel vlogs and we keep them rolling. This is the travel vlog dance, lock it in. And then just to touch on budgeting real quick because I did that off camera. We blew the budget, 100%, the budget is blowing. Beauty through the roof. But like I said, I kind of started to put aside some money for that. But beauty budget was blowing. Because like I said, that maintenance vlog that I posted in July, that's close to $500 worth of beauty services. So that budget just got obliterated. And then travel, 
I try to set aside in my budget a hundred dollars each month out of my salary for travel but I'm starting to think if I should like put that into a travel fund let me know if you think I think I want to open up a separate account and like actually move the travel money away from there instead of just leaving it in my buffer that I keep in my regular bank account because I feel like it's getting a little kind of flustered and confused so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to like save for travel long term but I'm just so happy because budget wise all the flights are booked and all the hotels are booked so that's impressive <laughs> when you're able to actually like the legitimately last thing you have to do is maybe just excursions or experiences and just spending money and food money you're in a good space so budget travel blew it up beauty blew it up i don't want to talk about it because i also had a huge i was an idiot let me tell you why don't have this big savings goal like two thousand is a lot to save good lord don't have this big savings goal and i I just messed I completely forgot that I needed to book things in July so it was just an extra load of a sacrifice that's why I'm very grateful for a credit card and even though I took Ramsey plus and his and I'll just do like a little spoiler his whole methodology is like you need to have a plastic sectomy and you need to tear up your credit cards for me a credit card is a level of security that I don't mind because my credit card isn't a lot y'all my credit card is like fifteen hundred dollars and I'm personally choosing to keep my credit card at that low 1500 I think 1500 is very good. I think everybody can do a $1,500 credit card because it's something where it isn't too heavy on your conscience in terms of paying it off. That's just my opinion. Like, I was definitely approached for like $3,000 credit cards, $5,000 credit cards. I just don't feel like accumulating that much debt right now in my life. Like, at this stage in my life, I'm trying to knock down debt and I'm trying to, like, do what I need to do like a part of the savings goals to be honest is is related to the property so I'm just remembering my long-term financial goal and if I need to stack money I don't need to be increasing my credit card limit right now so personally I don't have a problem with credit cards I just feel like keep the limit to something that you could manage so that when it's time to pay it off you're just like I can't I can't deal with five thousand dollars with a credit card debt to pay off it just seems a little exhausting so <laughs> I try to keep my credit card low and I don't feel like it's a huge toll on me and I don't feel like it's necessary for me to cut up my credit card because at the end of the day when fraud happens because I have been the victim of several fraud incidents and they empty out your debit card they empty it out and the banks take the bank took three months to give me my money back when my debit card got hit with fraud. Three months, I didn't have any money. You know how much ramen I ate? It was a plethora of ramen. All I knew was shrimp ramen. So I'm not doing that again, and that's why I prefer to have that safety net of a credit card. Now, you do what you please, but I just wanted to share my opinions on that. Let's hop real quick into the, our book review. Now, I don't have a book review this month, y'all. But I will share what I'm reading. So y'all know the last reset. We talked about the magic of thinking big. I finished that book. Loved it. Was it my favorite? Um, was it called reading style or like writing style? No. But I think it was a really good book. And it had some really great underlying concepts. It was something that I just feel like everybody should really read. The book we're reading this month. All about it. And this is not a formal book review. I'll talk about it more in the next reset. But Finally reading Smart Women Finish Rich by David Bach. Is it Bach or Batch? I don't know. I call him David. I don't know. I don't want to pronounce his name, but David B is also the author of The Automatic Millionaire. And I read that maybe four years ago. Absolutely love the book. I think The Automatic Millionaire is a must read. So I saw he had several different books. And I saw this one called Smart Women Finish Rich. And I was like, come on, title big mood so I bought the book and I had to sit on my shelf so long and I finally picked it up and I absolutely love it so it's I think eight chapters it's literally the equivalent of for me having a financial coach and a financial advisor kind of walk you through some of the things you want to learn about I'm on chapter three which is really good so I have five more chapters to go but I'll keep you guys posted on this in the next reset but this is what I'm reading now and I'm just super excited for it I also got some new i also got another book that i want to share with you guys i just want to share 
can this be a safe space yeah so i'm pausing what we're doing right now with the reset let me grab my little um latest target haul and just share this with you guys because i bought a new book and i'm so excited to want to share it with you guys so just stay with me <laughs> So this reset, we're gonna include a new segment called Things That Target Made Me Buy. <laughs> I love the Target app. It has me in trouble. The Target is always like, girl, do you need a pre-up? I'm like, leave me alone. So Things That Target Made Me Buy, item number one. I bought some more of the Hero Mighty Patch. Y'all know I love this, but like when I'm breaking out, I put a Mighty Patch on this week and it just sucked the gunk out of the pimple. Love these. So I got more Mighty Patch. I got the Burst moisturizer so this is the burst two point moisturizing gel cream so it has green tea extract and aloe leaf juice absolutely love this i tried the sample and i loved it my skin drank it up so love that and then the last really i realized this is just beauty but yeah bb bright eyed illuminating eye cream it's supposed to be really good at brightening and then bb is vegan natural skincare y'all know i don't play with that and this has squalene and green algae love squalene and green algae is popping the last thing target got me on was we got a new book and i'm trying to read smart smart women finish rich which i love so i'm trying to read this and knock out this too in the month of august this is get out of your head by jenny allen I, the reviews were popping are your thoughts holding you captive i'll never be good enough god can not really love me just just talking about the swirl of destructive thoughts that sometimes we go through that really derail our progress and our success in life and how to get out of our own head and it's biblical based which i feel like it was really cool because that aligns with what i'm trying to do and as you can see there is a healthy rotation so what i do is i do like a self-help maybe spiritual book for one month and then I like to do finance books for another month. So I like to rotate between self-help and finance. That's just what I'm really enjoying. I'm using books as a source of education right now. When I go back to reading fiction, if I ever do, I'll keep you guys posted. But right now I love books because they keep me learning. So this is what works for me. Do what works for you. I think at the end of 2022, we should do a book wrap up. Like of all the books I read and like rate them. What y'all think? I think that'd be fun. Okay, y'all. So, what else do we need to do to reset? I need to spend just a little more time reflecting and do my monthly reflection for July because I think it'll put me in a better headspace to plan out my August. But I'm not having very heavy goals for August because I just feel like I want to relax and I am at a good point where I have crawled out of any sort of burnout or just exhaustion that I was experiencing last month so I want to keep that momentum going and I don't want to apply unnecessary pressure to my life I hope you guys are enjoying this V set it's a little more chatty a little less movie but I just wanted to really talk to you guys this time and just have just a heart-to-heart -heart friend conversation so let me know if you're enjoying it and drop a comment down below yay reset it into the night time it's much later i have relaxed <laughs> but before we end this vlog i of course will share with you guys my monthly reflection and then it took me hours but i finally came up with my goals that i want to set for august so i'll share that with you as well so here i am just 
this is realistic if you don't know i'm using the monthly reflection setup from the passion planner i will leave my coupon code down below along with a free pdf that you can use to incorporate into your own resets so i got you but three biggest lessons and i was pretty brief with my journaling today just because i feel a little drained so i didn't really write that much like i really just wrote a page and a little and sometimes for some months i can really journal long and write two or three pages about how i feel but this month i just feel really content and i was able to just keep it very brief and concise which i will try to do right now so three biggest lessons for july release what you cannot control like when things are with external parties and you literally have no control you just have to wait that is what you do you wait and you don't stress about it i don't worry about it no more i just feel like i'm at a place of contentment where what's for me will always be for me and while i am waiting I'm not going to be moping, I'm not going to be miserable, I'm not going to complain, I'm going to be content, I'm going to be happy, and I'm going to be grateful for all that I have and all that is coming. That's just my mood right now. And second point was peace of mind should be a priority because I was reading um, Smart Women Finish Rich and there's a chapter on values and there were some exercises where you really had to unpack what you value and things like that and I realized I really value peace of mind like i like some people don't like some people would make it a priority for me my peace of mind is a priority and that's something that i have made a conscious decision to prioritize in my life that's just my personal thing and it's just one of the things that i feel like i adhere to in this life is that i need to be at peace mentally so if i'm not at peace mentally i remove it and then my third lesson was I'm stronger than I think because I have been lifting some heavy stuff in the gym that I would never believe that I would even be capable of lifting or doing in these people's gym or with my body and my body is surprising me like my like I, I joined the gym with 10 pounds and now I am bicep curling 20 like this just seems too it seems like too much but my body is like showing me hey if you keep on training me, if you keep on being consistent, you don't know what I could do. So, I just put that down because I thought it was really cool. I have more strength than I think. And I think that could be interpreted not just for the gym, but for life in general. You are a lot more stronger than you think. That's just the truth of it. But that's really it when it comes to my reflection i rated july a seven which was hilarious because it's the seventh month of the year but i felt like that seven was appropriate so the last thing i'll touch on is i finally finished my august gold so i'll flip around and show you guys that real quick so the first one i put is mind read two books and then the second one is finish my ebook and then the third one is clean out my phone I desperately need to clean out my phone because I'm officially out of storage. Good lord. And then for the brand ebook, I started an ebook what could be almost two months ago, and I just really need to finish it. Just need to dive deep and actually put in the work to finish it. Um, and I've been slacking on that, so I just put it down as a goal for this month if I can get to it. Awesome. Um, and then the last goal is the one I'm really pushing for, which is read two books. So I am almost halfway through this book i'm reading now smart women finish rich and then i have the other book i showed you guys uh get out of your head that i plan on reading on vacation um so i'm just super excited to just read a little more i've been trying to read every day and so far i've been doing a really good job so i'm super proud of myself you know, that's it I wanted this reset to be chill to feel like we're just catching up like we're having like right now a little sleepover which is fine but i just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video for enjoying the resets let me know down below are you resetting how was your july are you looking forward to august as always i'm claiming the best for us i'm claiming that this new month of august brings us exactly what we need it might be not what we ask for but it might be what we need and that's okay so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I appreciate you. I value you. Yeah, you bye. I'm going to bed. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>